Hi friends, uh, in this tutorial I am going to be covering the pause or delay or how to add a pause or a delay in your PowerShell script. So let's get it started. But before I get started, I just want to say that um, if you have any questions or suggestions or recommendations, uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below. So in here you can see that I have PowerShell uh, open and uh, uh, we can see that it's working uh, right now I'm running it on Windows 10 so let's say we want to pause uh, the screen until the user presses specifically the enter key so for that we use the pause command or command light so once we do it it says us it says that print enter press enter to continue <coughs> this in here so if you press any other characters besides enter key it's not going to work so let's say you're pressing a s d f so nothing is working until or unless we press in the enter key so once we print it press the insert key enter key <coughs> <coughs> sorry excuse me so once we press the enter key we can see that now we get our prompt back so this is how uh, pause works but uh, now if you want to add another functionality like uh, something that would make our uh, powershell prompt to return if the user presses any key instead of just the enter key so for this we have to use the host dot ui dot raw ui um, dot read key so once we press in here you can see that we get this blinking cursor in here which is waiting for us to press in a key so in here if you type in a key like let's say I'm pressing a what it does is uh, that it prints its virtual key code I think it's the ASCII code the character is a I just press the a and it says that the key down it is true so let's just run it again this time and this time I'm pressing B so once we do it, you can see that it shows its virtual uh, key code, the character that we have pressed down. So this is how you can uh, add the functionality of uh, the user pressing any key. So the pause previously that I demonstrated in here, it only worked if you pre enter, press the enter key. This works if you press an any key. So let me give another demo. So in here, let's say we want our so let's say we have created a script and we just want to uh, add in the functionality of uh, let's say for the script to wait in for a few seconds so we can use it with the by using the start sleep commandlet so let's say we want to wait for three seconds so once we do it you can see that it waits for three seconds and at once three seconds is up we get our prompt back so let's do it again this time let's increase it to let's say 10 so in here we can see that we have to wait until 10 seconds is complete and once 10 seconds uh, is complete we get our prompt back so it should be up now yes so we have gotten so if uh, it is too long for you you can also use something they call the uh, milliseconds so this works let's say if you want to have to wait your script to wait for like half a second so you will use 500 milliseconds so if you press in so you can see that we get our prompt back very quickly so this is how you can uh, add the functionality of a delay or a pause using seconds and if you want it to be uh, in milliseconds you have to use in the milliseconds option so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions or any recommendations feel free to put it in the comments section below and i'll see you guys in the next one